Hey guys, my name is Dinesh and during my HSC year I came forth in the state for Mathematics Extension 2 and today in this video I'm going to help you guys get better at maths by talking about all the tips and tricks that I used to help me along the way. I'm just going to start by saying that high school maths is the place where hard work can really work wonders. There may be other subjects where some people can argue that you need some sort of natural talent or intelligence to be able to succeed but in high school maths I can 100% hands down guarantee that through sheer hard work you can improve and improve and improve and keep improving as far as you like, okay? As long as you sit down and grind, you can get better at maths. Okay, let's get into it. So with maths, there are two types of mistakes that you can make. Firstly, due to the question being too hard. So for instance, you might be having to solve a quadratic equation or something like that, and you haven't really gone through the topic too much beforehand. Everything feels a little bit unfamiliar to you. You don't really know how to approach the question. You don't really know how to start. You're stuck and you're basically gonna lose marks. The second type is due to you being too careless. So in this case, you know how to do the question, but you forget some small detail, like you forget to, to leave in the units, or maybe you mistype your numbers into the calculator wrong. And here you're gonna lose marks due to being too careless. So getting better in maths tests is about targeting both sides of the equation. So to reduce the amount of times that you make that first type of mistake, you need to be able to solve everything. And to do this, you need to learn the topics really well. So for this, I'm going to talk about three points to help you along the way. Firstly, during class, when the teacher is teaching a topic, really try to focus on understanding everything, okay? So don't try to write down notes or whatever. Just really try to focus on exactly what the teacher is saying and try to understand why things are the way they are. So why you have to use a particular formula or why the formula works in this type of case. Also, try to ask as many questions as possible. So back when I used to tutor, I saw a clear trend where the students who used to ask more and really try to wrap their heads around a concept or topic were definitely the ones who would do better. So literally, even if you have like the smallest doubt about something, please feel free to ask your teacher questions and try to understand things as best as you can. The second point is that for each maths exam, you need to consistently spread your work throughout the term. So say for instance, you have a six week block of time where you can study for your next maths exam. Don't try to cram everything into that last week. Spread your work out into the entire six weeks. This point is like super important since maths is like a skill that you slowly develop over time. It's not a bunch of theory that you can just cram at the end, okay? This is so, so important. Try to dedicate a set amount of time each day to doing maths questions, okay? So for me, each day after coming back from school, I would sit down and do at least an hour of maths a day. The third and last point here is about targeting your weaknesses. So as you're consistently practicing maths exercises throughout the term, you will start to notice areas that you feel better in and more comfortable in. At the same time, however, you will also start to notice areas that you're weaker in and basically more likely to make, make errors or mistakes in, right? So try to identify these weaker areas and try to dedicate more time into practicing in these areas, okay? So ask your teacher for more resources, ask your teacher for more questions, look in various textbooks for more, more exercises, and basically just try to practice on these weaknesses and turn them into your strengths, okay? So for me, I used to be really, really bad at geometry. And so this was a problem in HSC because in Maths Extension 2, we had to do circle geometry, right? And so circle geometry was one of my, my weakest areas. So I distinctly remember one weekend, I literally just sat down and spent like the entire weekend just spamming out some circle geometry questions and I can say that by the time the HSC came around circle geometry was my strongest hobby so it definitely paid off. Reducing careless mistakes is another way to boost your marks. The strategy is underrated and often overlooked but there's no point in knowing everything if you keep dropping like 10 marks on really like small things like forgetting a minus sign in your algebra working out. So here I'll talk about two tips to try and decrease the amount of careless mistakes that you make. So the first point about lowering the amount of careless mistakes you make is to make a list of all of these careless mistakes. So as you slowly work through maths exercises over the term, you will start to realize that you make the same types of mistakes over and over again. So for instance, you might be the type of person to always mistype numbers into your calculator, hmm, <clears throat> Shane. Or you might be the type of person to always miss out like a minus sign in your working out. So start to take note of all these careless mistakes and eventually you'll have like a page of all the really common types of mistakes that you make. So before your actual maths exam, have a read through this page of mistakes and try to really be aware of them so that you don't make them again. So the second point in decreasing the amount of careless mistakes you make is to do more past papers. So when you do past papers, you're kind of putting yourself in a timed environment where you feel pressure. And this forces you to make the same types of mistakes that you would make in an actual exam situation. So by doing more and more past papers, you basically iron out 
the wrinkles in your exam technique. The other thing about doing past papers is that you get to see how the sample answers have set out their working out and the steps and everything. This is really important in the HSC because markers tend to be like really focused on and pedantic about how you how you set out your working out and how you present your answers. So by doing more and more past papers, you see how the sample answers have done it and you can basically copy their steps and their method and just make sure that your own working out and your own presentation is up to scratch. I'm now just going to talk about some, some general pointers that are good for any maths test. The first thing is confidence. So I'm pretty sure there's some sort of a, a research study somewhere which shows that if, if you're feeling really like stressed, nervous, anxious, if you're doubting yourself, your mathematical like skill actually gets worse. This kind of makes sense if you think about maths is a very high order function. So any sort of mental disturbance is bound to affect like your brain's peak level of ability, right? And make you worse at maths. So for this reason, it's, it's really, really important to be in a good state of mind on the day of your test. So get at least eight hours of sleep, okay? Like anything under seven is absolutely criminal. You know, just make sure to eat healthily. And if you're feeling really stressed and nervous, you know, try try some strategies such as meditation to help yourself calm down and get into the zone. The good thing is after you start to see yourself getting better and after you start to see yourself solving harder questions, you will just start to naturally gain a sense of self-belief and this will just naturally translate to getting better marks in math tests. Last thing is to try and have fun, okay? So try to enjoy the intricacies, all the detail and try to appreciate when you solve a hard question, you know, like Feel proud of yourself after you solve something hard and try to see the fun side of things, okay? If you find maths fun, then you naturally start to want to do more maths and then you're naturally just going to get better over time. So I'm just going to end this video by saying that improving in maths is 100% possible and it's 100% in your hands, okay? So sit down, grind, execute these tips and you'll guarantee get better at maths, okay? I promise you guys. Thanks so much for watching the video, everyone. If you liked what we talked about and if you learned a few things, please like the video, comment or subscribe. It really means a lot to us. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time.